Hey everybody, this is Corey Peterson with the Kahuna Concepts coming with you with part two of our Tech to Cool series on how to become a multifamily operator and how to do some of the best practices to become very successful. And today's uh, episode, we really want to talk about how do you become the commander? How do you be the one in charge of your deal and really create a, a team where they're going to give you a five-star rating. See, leadership's always about service and service above self. And the right commander will do the right things to put together the A-team. And so here's four steps that you can do to create your award-winning A-team. Step one is to know your objective. In other words, when you look at yourself and look at you know a potential deal, you need to kind of self intake and say, what do I have and what do I need? And when you do that and write it down, then you can start developing a plan to say, here's the pieces that I need. You need to know what you need to do to do a deal. In other words, what are the pieces missing and what am I personally good at, right? Then you can start looking for the team that you need. And that brings us to number two, is you are only going to bring on A players. So many times I see partnerships formed because people think or feel or oh, I think he's going to be good. You should absolutely know that when you bring on a partner, that partner needs to be able to demonstrate that they have the skill set, the experience, and all the pieces you need to be part of your deal, right? I So many times this is where most... Uh, new multifamily players where they, they mess it up is they're not really becoming the uh, commander. They're falling down the ranks and you can't do that. Stay up above and, and really all you have to do is you're, you're putting all the pieces together, but only put together great players. Your life will be so much better for it and you'll thank me. Okay. Number three is once you put them all together, this is really what your job is, is to hold everybody accountable. If you expect X, Y, and Z, then that's what it is. And it, you don't have to be mean or upset, but it's really about numbers and communicating You know what the plans and goals and expectations are. In so many partnerships, I think lots of new partnerships, they start off with, let's feel good, and they never write down what the expectations for each partner is. I think it's critical. When you have critical you know, and detailed communication on what someone's role and responsibility is, it's a lot easier to hold those people accountable for those responsibilities. But if it's not written down, it is not true, okay? Step number four is communicate often. Just like in marriages, I see most marriages fail because people fail to communicate. They, you know, going into a marriage before they get married, you know, before their husband and wife seems like, newlyweds they communicate all the time and then something happens after about five years of marriage they stop dating they stop having communication and talking and like i reason the reason i use marriage because that's really what a partnership is a business partnership it's a lot like a marriage and so you've got to communicate often and let people know how you're feeling right and sometimes your feelings may just be not really worth it, right? Maybe sometimes your feelings are just based on emotion and it's not about accountability. So we can learn how to take that out. But in business, we're really there to function as let's go to this goal, let's make profit, and let's split the, the spoils. And so communicating and over-communicating, I can't say you can never do too much of that. I think that'll help all your businesses and all your uh, partnerships become so much better, stronger, and will help you create the multifamily experience that you're looking for so you can do your first deal. Guys, hope you enjoyed this concept. You have a great day.